All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Today is Valentine's Day. Massive reporting numbers are coming in that Mormon women all over Utah are flooding the hospitals with a mental illness diagnosis and being referred to psychiatrists. Psychiatrists are, are diagnosing these women with depression and prescribing the quid pro quo of antidepressants. These antidepressants aren't curing any of the Mormon women and are just addicting them to the antidepressants as they are forced to take it for the rest of their lives with a mental illness diagnosis. News at 11. <laughs> Did you see anything wrong in any of that reporting? Well, apparently not because uh, mental health groups are flooding the capital yesterday according to ABC4 News Utah pushing for uh, more mental health laws to uh, protect those with depression and committing suicide now all of you women know that if you are depressed on this day it is because you don't have a date for Valentine's There's the cause. Wow, I'm the cure. I've cured people. Uh, I've identified the cure, now we can treat it. Prescribe one date, one chocolates, flowers, dinner, a teddy bear, and a teddy. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I just, I try to warn you guys, and, uh, try all different ways of telling you and nothing gets through the the Mormon church tried to keep conversion therapy uh, but uh, the Utah legislature got hammered by the anti-conversion therapist <laughs> and uh, uh, the uh, Utah banned conversion therapy even when the church tried to compromise by saying well we want it altered just alter the law keep it but alter it oh, man. and so now they're pushing uh, mental health do you guys not understand conversion therapy was run operated and performed by mental health care professionals And so now they're saying, hey, you guys banned conversion therapy, but we want more rights and laws to allow us to become drug pushers. So from one flame to the next. <laughs> Do you guys even understand they're the cause? of mental illness, of the depression, of the suicidal thoughts, the PTSD, they're the cause. And I've been trying to warn you and explain to you how it worked. It's the dichotomy and non-dichotomy spectrum classification that they use. If you remember my brainwashing videos. And so, yeah, I'm going to write a letter to Mike Winder again, going over a whole list. And this is going to be longer than porn. <laughs> but again, the whole porn problem was initiated by fundamentalist Christians, and then psychiatry took over. Yeah, we can get people who think they're addicted to porn. <laughs> And we can drug them and, and get all sorts of money. When you have a business that relies on clients for your income, and an increasing of the clients guarantees job security, you're not inclined to cure or uh, uh, 
no longer need your client. They're now fixed, whatever you want to call it. There's no such thing as a mental illness, guys. It doesn't exist. The coronavirus, that's the only mental illness there is because it's an actual illness caused by a virus that affects the brain functioning. There is no such thing as a mental illness. It's all a con. It's all a scam. They're the cause of the problems in the first place because they need clients. So they create a scenario, a box, for people to fit in. And then they say, oh, okay, you're in this box. Here's a prescription for this particular drug for this box. And then 35 years later, you're an addict. And you try to go off the drug. And you go through severe withdrawal symptoms. It's all a con. An evil, plotted clone con a scam and so you know the whole Mormon women with antidepressants highest in the world per capita Mormon women and why oh it's because they've got a mental illness no you don't have a mental illness women you don't need the antidepressants. You need the Mormon church to stop the abuse. The whole perfectionism. That's the cause. The whole guilt trip they give you. That's the cause. And so, yeah, I took philosophy of science. And you may say, oh, philosophy's just opinion. And what are you guys doing with your religion then? <laughs> but no, my philosophy of science was the use of sound argument in developing scientific theories. So if you've paid attention to your local news, they love to come out with the latest new scientific study. It's clinically proven. For example, on uh, ABC4 News Utah, and uh, I'm even seeing it on MSNBC, the advertisements of a Utah-based medical company selling a vibrator for men with erectile dysfunction. <laughs> but they're not calling it a vibrator. And so, it's just, they just scam people. They cause the problem, and then create a crisis that they claim they can solve, which is just all part of their brainwashing and, and control. And I just get so frustrated because people don't see it. Because they're trapped in the box and they can't get out. They don't know they need to get out. And they get upset with people when they say, hey, uh, that's not the cause. It's the person who put you in the box. That's the cause. So, yeah. Uh, expect uh, more on the Mormon mental games. I'm not sure if I should put war in place of games. Because uh, Porn Wars seems to be doing very well. <laughs> But it may just be porn that's the cause. But uh, we'll see if mental games gets people's attention. Uh, and go from there. So, uh, yeah, I'll do more of it. And it's just repeat of my brainwashing stuff. So, alrighty. Uh, but yeah, I'll, when I finish emailing Mike Winder, I'll uh, read it to you. And, uh, and do that as a video so please understand it's still on the same topic <laughs> you don't have to ignore it because it'll show you the evil of the whole psychological field you know 
goes way back to the CIA and MK Ultra. if you've been hearing about that in Mormonism. And goes back into Nazi Germany, to whom the United States secreted out the scientists who were performing the uh, inhumane treatments on the Jews and bringing them to the United States to say, hey, we'll fund you for your, your uh, inhumane testing on Americans now. You just never learn.